to my channel, but if you're new here, then welcome. I'm Giselle, and I do fashion lifestyle videos on my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing some more back-to-school DIYs, and if you missed my very first back-to-school DIY, I will link it right down below in the description box because you don't want to miss it because I actually think it came out really cute and pretty awesome. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself. It's a pretty cool DIY, so I definitely recommend going ahead and checking that out. And since it is back to school season, I thought I would continue on with my back to school series. I thought it'd be fun to do another Kylie Cosmetics inspired DIY just because I think that the packaging is really cute and really like universally loved by everyone. Even though there's like controversy going on with the actual product, I still think that the, the packaging is really cute. And these lip kits are still super trendy even though they launched like months ago. And yeah, if you want to learn how to spice up your school supplies, with inspiration from Kylie Cosmetics and Kylie Jenner's products, then just keep on watching. So this first one might be my favorite. To make this Kylie Lip Kit highlighter, I use one of my actual lip kit bottles. I've worn it every single day since I got it, so now that it is empty, I thought I would use it for the super easy DIY. First, I removed the applicator from the cap using some pliers, and then I cleaned the inside of the bottle with some rubbing alcohol. I decided to keep a thin layer of the actual liquid lipstick covering the inner walls of the lip kit tube and since this formula is matte it dried super quickly. Next take apart a liquid highlighter and you want to make sure that it's one that has the loose liquid in it and not one that has the liquid inside a marker tube. Using pliers I popped off the highlighter tip and filter then poured all the highlighter liquid inside the lip kit bottle. To fit inside the lip kit bottle opening, I had to cut off a little bit of the bottom layer of the cap, but this of course depends on which highlighter you use for this DIY. Once I was sure that it fit, I applied some hot glue around the inner rim of the opening and pushed my highlighter tip down to a snug fit until the glue dried. The lip kit bottles are super cute and definitely do not deserve to be thrown out, especially for the amount of money that we pay for them. So this DIY is the perfect way to upcycle them while making them functional for school or at home. For the second DIY, I'll be showing you how to make your very own Kylie Lip Kit inspired binder dividers. I just grabbed some cardstock in multiple colors. I just grabbed some cardstock in multiple colors and printed these lip kit images from Google, then scaled them down to 30% when I printed. I then cut out the lip kit images and glued them onto cardstock to make them a little bit sturdier. While those dried, I took this template and cut out and traced the drips with metallic marker. Once you have the completed outline of the drips, you can leave it like that or color them in like me. Once I drew all the drips on all the cardstock dividers, I applied glue on the bottom portion of the lip kit tabs and stuck them onto the cardstock using my finger to smooth them out. Since binder dividers are typically plain, I thought this DIY was super edgy and trendy way to create your own using items you can find around your house. Okay, so honestly, it might be a toss-up between the highlighter DIY and this one because I absolutely love how this Kylie Cosmetics notebook turned out. I got this composition notebook at the dollar store and used a piece of cardstock to protect the pages because I decided that I wanted to make the outside completely black, so I used some spray paint. After cover dried, I cut out these lip kit logos and placed them where I wanted them on the notebook before gluing them down just to see the placement. I wanted them to look kind of alternating, but the pattern of the lips is completely up to you. Once I was set on the placement, I dabbed a dot of some Mod Podge on the back of each lip logo just so they would stay in place. Then I painted a thin layer of Mod Podge over the entire notebook for a clean, glossy finish. And you want to make sure the Mod Podge you're using dries clear so you don't get streaks of white on the black base. Lastly, I trimmed off any excess of any of the lip kit images that were hanging off the edges of the notebook. This is how it turned out and I think it looks super cute and goes with all the other lip kit DIYs. For the final DIY, I'll be showing you how to do a Kylie Lip Kit pencil case. I got this clear pencil case box from Staples and I thought it was perfect for this DIY because it was the exact shape of a lip kit box. I measured out the sides of my pencil case and it turned out to be 8x3 so using white cardstock I cut out two 8x3 pieces of white cardstock and did the exact same steps for the more narrow sides on the sides of the box using pink cardstock. Again, using Mod Podge, I applied a thin layer on one of the white cardstock pieces and smoothed it out on the front side of the pencil case. For the other side, I cut out the same template that I used for my other Kylie DIY video that I did a few months back, and I'll link that video down below in case you want to use this template. I glued on the lips and wording on the other piece of cardstock, like how it would be on an actual lip kit, and then applied a thin layer of Mod Podge on top and smoothed that out on the back side of the pencil case. 
Lastly, I glued on the pink sides exactly how I did the white sides and slipped the box inside the pencil case. And once it dries, you can put all your pens and pencils all up in there. And all these DIYs combined only cost me $2 because a lot of the materials I had at home. So all these DIYs are super inexpensive and easy. And yeah, I hope you guys like them and decide to recreate them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up because I'd really appreciate it. And please subscribe below if you have not already because this back to school season has just started and I'm really excited about all the DIYs to come and I'll be doing a really big giveaway towards like mid-August. So you definitely want to be subscribed for that. And if you guys decide to recreate any of these, definitely tag me on Instagram or Twitter because I'd love to see the other Kylie Jenner DIY that I did. I love seeing your recreations of, so definitely do tag me if you decide to recreate any of these school supplies. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!